Welcome back to Satisfactory. So we're just waiting for this to finish up. It's almost done. And we can queue up the next um, research as well. Milestone reached. Train signals placed on train rails can control and improve train behavior. This helps to avoid events where multiple trains attempt to occupy the same physical location. For information related to earlier train events, please refer to your employee non-disclosure agreement. Okay. Train signals. Really only needed if you have multiple trains sharing the same track, which we don't have the moment, so that's fine. But uh, it's good to get it researched. Uh, tier 6 is done. Tier 7... Uh, well, the next goal is going to be to get... Uh, probably one or one of these two done. Either way, we need them both. But uh, first, let's see what this hard drive has got for us. Quick wire stator and heavy encased frame. Oh. Well, you know, you know, actually, this might be better than the one that requires all those screws. So well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. It doesn't really change what I'm about re getting ready to do, but this could be useful. Let's pop the next hard drive in. All right, so now we have the ability to scan for bauxite. So we'll just pop one of those off just to demonstrate that there isn't any in this area. <laughs> the nearest is going to be to the south. And it's going to be just miles away. There it is. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's a mile away. 1,600 meters is a mile. <laughs> That was a wild guess, but uh, great. Well, that's where we're going. We're going to need to bring a couple of um, a couple of these portable miners too, because uh, you need two each. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just going to put them in the um, in here. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Cool. Well, now we're venturing into a new biome. This new biome has um, has these things. They're rather large. They look like poppies, but they also look like balloons. So, unsure what we'll see up there, other than sure we're going to run into some nasties. It's been a long time. It's been years and years since I've been up there. So let's put a, um, a lookout tower. Oh, come on. Here we go. Yeah, I can already see the enemies coming. Need to decide where to go. Well, clearly, we're going this way. Uh, so south, slightly west. Oh, there's a geyser in there. Ooh, there's a geyser in there. And there's another geyser. You know, I should really tap into those. 
Um, I wonder. I wonder if my scanner can communicate with. Um, no, no, that's not what I wanted. The scanner. See, like there's a Mercer sphere here somewhere. There's also a hard drive. That direction. East. Um, you know, a hard drive is super valuable, so I think it might be worth taking a little detour for that. I can see it from here. There it is. It's at the top of that cliff. Now I gotta be mindful that there's probably enemies up there. Let's put the jetpack on for safety. Oh yeah, it's an alpha. Here's the girl. Here we go. Close to that edge. Come on. Ah, <laughs> sayonara, sucker. These little guys are easy. I just didn't want to deal with that big one. Is that everything? Here is needed. It wants quartz crystal. All right. Let's grab some quartz crystal. Well, that's so cool. Dimensional Depot is so, so nice. So we get the hard drive and then I can just take the quartz crystal and put it right back where it was. <laughs> uh, any Mercer spheres up here or... No. Anyways. Oh, as long as we're here with the view. So, so there's my train and I need to go, hang on, so it needs to go this way and then across the plain, probably that way and then that way and then up. I know there's, they see the, the bamboo, the red bamboo forest is in the middle of the map. So like, if you zoom way out and then go like this, it, it's down here somewhere. And there's, so latitude wise, it's about the middle and all the bauxite is along the, the middle latitudes. So um, what we can do is we can scan for it, maybe get an idea where it would be. There it is, 855 meters, there's one right there. So we'll just, we'll take the train up there and we'll pick it up. There, I left it just as I found it. Great, so let's, um, Let's go up that way. Really? I got to put my hang, hang glider back on.
This is working pretty well. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's see if we can get it up a little bit higher. Because I need to start to start climbing. Um, so here, I need to get up there somewhere. Bauxite. There it is. Seems to be just one that's pretty close. And I'm also going to need coal. And there's coal up there too. Good. Oh, there's a SAM node. Uh, should I grab that on the way back? I could. I could. I mean, I'm eventually going to need lots of Sam, right? So, I don't know. Uh, it's good to know that's there. But, I, I mean, I don't think I need need it right now, but I'll eventually need it in the late game. Um, I need to get higher up. So, let's... There we go. I could probably, yeah, I don't, it's not going to be, I don't have to get up to that. I could, I could just get up to here and then climb. Let me, let me just, let's just see what's more where that box side is. Right, I bet you I could snake it around. Yeah, something like this. Oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely what I'm what I'm after. All right, let's All right, let's get some ramps going. Well, Actually, wait. All right, so the bauxite is that way. Also, yeah, yeah, that's that looks that looks great. It's right on target. Better than expected. There's some spitters. We'll, we'll work around those guys. <laughs> yep. Um, should I grab that power slug? I might as well. Oh, we have gas pillars and boulders for some reason. Oh, I think the boulders were are blocking the road. Like this is actually considered a road, like where you could take um, where you can take a vehicle through. But you know, where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> let's um, let's get a lookout tower going. Oh wait. That's is this is all going well. I see something green up there. That wouldn't be a uranium node, would it? I better check. Oh, what if it is? Like not not just rocks, but an actual node. Well, there's a. It looks like a cliff hog. I hate those things. 
they'll shoot at you and they'll shoot a really, really high damage something at you. Oh, it's a purple power slug. Well, should we try it? Here. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> that worked. Of course, now he's down on the ground where he'll probably try to hunt me down. But, um, let me just grab my Nobilisk real quick. Radiation damage. Radiation damage. Worth it. Well, it wasn't a radi or it wasn't a uranium node, sadly, but I did get uh, a purple power slug, and they're valuable, so that's I'll take it. Cool. Oh, all right, what were we doing? We're trying to get the. Um, <clears throat> A little bit, little bit sidetracked, that's okay. So the idea is to get um, to the bauxite, for sure. That's the main objective here. And the coal. So the bauxite's that way. And the coal is... Oh, it's, it's literally right there. All right, well... Grrr. we'll do is we'll put down the pillar right here and we'll make it that high and then we'll connect the rail it's too steep yep it's too steep let's try this oh there's the there's that hog Yep, I knew he'd be trouble. There he is way over. Oh, there's there's two big ones. Oh, that's just lovely. Well, thank goodness I have um, some tools that can help keep me alive. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I keep forgetting to put the parachute back on. Well, I'm safe from them up here. I should be anyways, unless they shoot. That's a cliff hog right there. The radioactive cliff hog was, was even worse. But look at this. There's, there's two big ones and three small ones. Where is that coal? Oh, there it is. There's the coal. So I need to put a coal, I need to put a train station, like, right about here. That's the next objective. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get to the world grid. No, oh, he spotted me. Yeah, he's, he's he's trying to shoot at me. Great. Well, I'll just have to be careful. There's the coal. 
Yeah, let's let's pick off some of these guys. Well, they run away. They run away when shot with a rifle. Well, anyway, um, I need to build a train station. Fine, I'll get back up a little bit. Oh, what the hell? So something is able to hit me from them. Really? You're hitting me through the concrete. Yep, that's what they're doing. Wow. That's silly that they can hit you through the fucking concrete. That's, that's so lame. All right, you need to die. There were two, though. Two big ones. All right, now I can build in peace. Train station. So from there back to would be right here and we'll just pop the corner right there. That will line it up. And we're going to put, um, we're going to put a blank one, so like an empty platform, like in the middle, and then we'll put a freight platform behind it, um, and then we'll take uh, all of these, all these extra platforms can actually go away. I sure wish I knew where that final cliff hog went. The, the 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 tough one or or the radioactive one from before let's get some supports here this is why oh, where are you There you are. He's stuck between two pieces of bamboo, that's silly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, outsmarted by bamboo. This is why this is called the Red Bamboo Forest, by the way. I've, I've not actually been in here before, but everything I've done is further that way. Um, but yeah, this is cool. I wonder if I can get wood from it, like with a chainsaw. Um, what? No, that's... I got 300, 300 wood and over 500 leaves just from that little... Those two little bits. <gasps> that means that there's basically unlimited wooden leaves. Well, here comes my biofuel. Well, that's 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 really cool. I did not, I didn't know it was that lucrative. There's definitely uh, new sounds out here. It's like sounds like there's a monkey or. Some kind of strange bird. So now I just have to bring the um, the track. Track is too steep. Give me a break. Give me a break. There we go. Fine.
All right, so the train can come up here and then it's going to get loaded. Um, you know what? I need to, I need to, I need to put a miner up. So let's grab the, let's grab the portable miners out and then we'll make a mark to miner on that coal, right? And then I just got to hook it up to power. Now, power comes from the station. And I might as well just, since it's the only thing out here, it's just going to hook it up directly. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. So the power is actually coming through the train tracks. That's so awesome. And then what I need to do is I need to bring the input. Uh, you know what? I need a floor, a floor hole, kind of. Basically. Oh, come on. <laughs> Misaligned it. There we go. So that will bring coal very quickly into the train station. So I can check on it by going like this and you can see that the freight platform does indeed have coal coming in. And we're going to have a train settings to load. Oh, I also have to overclock it. I have to overclock it. There we go, 300. Did you see the number? It said 300 coal per minute because of the overclock. There it is, 300 per minute. Very nice. And that belt can handle, what, 480? So now the train will come in here and the second car will pick up coal. The first car will be bauxite, which we'll get somewhere else. And speaking of bauxite, 222 meters that way. Let's see if I can pinpoint where it is. 218 that way. Oh, I can see the little, the little blue circle. It's right there. All right, that's where we're going then. So we'll put an elevated, right about where this tree is, maybe a little bit to the left of it. Fortunately, I can't actually see what I'm doing with all this bamboo in the way, so I'm just going to have to go down there. But I know where I'm going now, so it just depends on if I get attacked in this mess. We'll put, um, we'll put the pillar here. Oh, there's a little stream. I'll put it next to the stream. And we'll have it go quite a ways up. And then we'll go back. Oh my gosh, you could get lost in this. Uh, there's my tower. I'm not sure if the red bamboo forest is the most challenging biome in Satisfactory, but it could be close. Oh no, it doesn't reach. You know, that sucks. Here. Okay, so the limit is actually pretty close to where I am. Right here. Look at all this bamboo. There's so much wood. I mean, honestly, you could... Unlimited wood. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? These things don't walk. These things aren't... What is this? 
it's like a it's like a it's like one of those whale creatures crossed with a spore flower. That's wild. And it belches out gas, of course it does. Well, that's different. I've never seen I think that's a new creature. Alright, there's the pillar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and go from here to there. Good. Um all right, let's put down that form and then another lookout tower. I hope I can glide that far without dropping below. Okay, let's try it. Yep. Okay, this should give us view of the bauxite. And there's all kinds of critters. Looks like spitters galore, and there's a purple power slug I can see through the rocks. And there's the bauxite node, I can see it. All right, that's that's good. So the track is coming that way, and then we're gonna make, we're gonna make the, um, the pillar, we'll put the pillar like, like right here, maybe. Then we'll make one of these so I can actually see what I'm doing. Another lookout tower. Um, red spitters. I can't remember. Yeah, they all look like they're small ones, though. There's five of them. Yeah, I don't see any big ones, so I might be able to just take them out, to be honest. Let's just try that. I wonder if it is they seem to be hit by it, but they don't seem to be taking damage. Well, it's not killing it. See, it should only take two or three, it should take about three shots. So clearly they're not being killed. Um, here, let's, let's get closer. Oh, there's a dead one. That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, there's a couple live ones. Okay, let's collect the proteins, the remains. Now this is a box I know, and this is a huge game advancement, a huge, huge game advancement. We want, we want to set up a miner here, so let's put that up right away. Miner mark. We'll send the output in well, probably this general direction. And now we have to bring the rail. But first, I actually have to I have to consider um, the train station. that. 
So foundation wise, we've got starting in the middle of this one and then going to the middle of this one is the train of stop. And then these two would be, and I think I want to a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Look how close the coal is to the bauxite. That's, that's very convenient. Very, very convenient. Cause now, uh, let's see, transport, train station. So this is going to go from the center of that to the center of this. That means we put the corner of it right there. And this time, we only need one freight platform. Um, you know, this is entirely the wrong angle. So here, let's, let's get a, a better vantage point of the situation. Yeah. So the train comes over here, but we want it to actually blend in with this, uh, which means you know, all these go away. And that's probably in the wrong spot. So, um, oh wow, I can go straight to it. Perfect. So that means I can get rid of all of this. All right, well, that turned out better than I thought. And also means um, I would have to get the train, the track to continue. I don't think that'll reach. So I'm going to have to put up like right about where this tree is. Wow, these are really, really tall trees. See, from afar, they don't look like that. They're that tall, but they're very tall. I mean, this foundation is a meter thick. How many meters is that? 150? Um... All right, look at tower time again. Put the, this one can go here. Yep, yep, it's gonna have to be right down by that tree. All right. Oh, hang on, let's find out exactly what is too long. So that's too long and this is, yeah, there's the edge right there. So in that case, we put this down here and we put um, a few a few pillars up. Get the track going to the top of the pillar. Now I just have to get the... So I'm going to need another pillar. Um, <clears throat> let's let's put it let's put it here, and let's see if that reaches. It does. And now we just have to glide down there. Um, it's not merging with this. Why is it not merging with this? Oh, can you not do that? Damn it. All right, well, fine, there's... So you can't put a Y junction there, all right. Well, there's more than way, one way to solve this. What we'll do is we'll take this down and we'll put a temporary track right there. And then we'll merge that to both of these. Yeah, see, there's always one, some way to do it. No. 
Oh dear, it's going right through that tree, which means the tree is going to have to come down. I wonder how much wood you get from it. Um, let's skip this. I don't want to get too much extra. So I'm going to go to single mode. Get my jetpack on too. Didn't have to do that. 114 wood and 82 leaves from just that. Uh, meanwhile, we should hook up the um, the power to the miner. Got to overclock the miner and do all that other stuff too. And we're going to get 600 per minute. That's fantastic. Of course, I can only transport 480, but the next belts can do 600. So... And one of those floor holes here. Excited! In large quantities. Uh, Bauxite is coming into the freight platform in large quantities. It's fantastic. Um, let's. Let's do the um, E to configure freight platform. No, not the freight platform. I want to configure the train station. We call it bauxite load. Bamboo bauxite load. Trains parked. Wait, can I can I change the, that that train that's over way over here still? Can I change it? Change it to come to bamboo bauxite load. And then great wagon is fully loaded. Save, save, turn on self driving. No way. Oh, it's moving. I didn't know Satisfactory could remote control trains at all. That's fantastic. Look at this. It's moving. It's coming right for me. Well, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> All right. Turn off self-driving. Did I set up the, um, yeah, I did. Okay. So what I'll do... Oh, this is so cool. Look at that box I come in. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put some pillars down just to get... Uh, just to make sure it, make it look better. There's a little stream. Okay, now we should probably... Uh, let's get the uh, Nobilisk out. There you are. Great. Well, that platform is looking good. Very elegant. Now, I'm just going to take some of these platforms away because they're not needed. Oh, shit. Duh. <laughs> should have put the pillars down first, or uh, should have waited until that and then put the pillars down. Now that's done. Oh, this is looking very nice. All right, let's put um, the train, let's put the freight cars on the back of the train. Yeah. 
And yeah, this is going to fill it. So that's good. So what we'll do is we'll we'll hop on board and then we'll, we'll tell it again timetable train. So it's going to go to Voxite load, edit timetable, edit timetable, Voxite load, and it's going to be loading Voxite until it's fully loaded, and then, and then we're going to add, well, I forgot to rename this, but we'll add it anyway. No, actually, wait. Um, we'll add a bamboo drop off. And then we're going to have it. Freight wagon is fully unloaded. Um, save. And then we'll go to this one and we'll wait until it's loaded with coal. It's not a great interface, guys. It's not a great interface. I mean, look at Factorio. See how they do it. That's how that's how you do an interface. Um, anyways, anyways, so I should be able to save it. And if I turn on self driving, it should next station bamboo bauxite load. So now it's going to move forward ever so slightly until it's lined up. And then it's going to take this crane is going to go over here and actually pick up this entire. No, not the entire. It's going to pull yeah, the cargo wagon from inside the box and drop it down onto this. And then we move on. We're going to skip this one. Oh, this is so cool. Got us some trees to trim. And then this crane will pick up the bauxite and it'll stick it in that box, which... Oh, <laughs> good animations in this game, for sure. Good animations. And then we move on to grab the, um, the coal. When we get there, I'll rename it. Off self driving, leave locomotive. All right, so this is going to take the coal and put the coal on the back of the train, which is why we had the the blank the blank uh, terminal here. And now I'm going to go and um, train station, and we're going to rename this one. Well, hang on. Bamboo box out load. So this would be bamboo coal load. Or bam coal. Oh, and it updates that automatically. Good, 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 good. Hey, there's a Oh, there's sulfur in there's sulfur on top of that hill where I got the hard drive. Cool. Um all right, let's hop in and we'll turn on self-driving for just a bit. 
Oh, I think I know what something means. Yeah, let's let's check something out here. Turn off self-driving. Leave. See what we've got here. So the question was whether or not we're waiting for the one load or for the train to be filled. And I think. Well, first of all, let's let's rename this. We don't need the word load here. <laughs> Have an efficient day. Yep. So now. Bamboo bauxite. Edit timetable. Okay. Bamboo bauxite. Freight wagon is fully loaded or unloaded. What we'll do. It all depends on whether we want it to wait for the coal. I mean, we might, but I, no, I, I don't think we need to wait for it to be fully loaded for the coal, though, because um, when it comes to the coal, it's going to be coming in at 300, which is half the speed of the bauxite. So let's change this one to one load unload has been completed. Save. But then this one says freight is fully loaded or unloaded. And then at the drop off, we want it to be fully as well. OK, I think I think it's set up now. I think it's set up. I could add that, Sam. I could add the Sam. I'll, I'll do it some other time. But this would that would be a good spot. <clears throat> some good thing to add. Look at the textures on this thing. Look at the textures. You know, I just built this. Why is it beat up? <laughs> it looks like it's so old and worn. It's very cool looking, though, I have to admit. All right, let's get in, and we will turn on self-driving. And... It's already putting the brakes on. Nice. <laughs> and so both of these cranes. Oh, why is it not taking the coal off? Hang on. Um, well, I got the bauxite, but I don't have any coal because it hasn't taken the freaking... I've got the coal here. Oh, because I haven't configured it to unload at this stop. All right. Well, now I have. Fine. All right, I will back it up a little bit. And then I'll turn on... Um... Oh, I can drag and drop. I can drag and drop. Here, let's let's. We'll put the drop off here, and then the coal is next, and then save changes. Turn on self driving, and it should. Nope, nope. Turn off self driving. Train station bamboo drop off. Guys, that's this station right here. You're supposed to stop. Oh, it didn't. It didn't actually. Uh -huh. That's not the next station, guys. All right, fine. Here, let me just. I got some cutting to do, anyways. Let's do a little track maintenance. What? All right. Oh, dear.
Whoa. They're, sh they're, sh they're attacking each other. What is happening? That was one of those big stingers, too. Let's cut down this tree. And anything else that looks like it's clipping with the train. Oh dear, I've got a power slug to get. Okay, well that works. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a hard drive right there. I realize how risky this is. Yeah! Oh dear. Oh my gosh! Okay. Maybe I didn't appreciate just how risky it was. Quite a lot of hogs. Oh, needs 120 megawatts. Are you kidding me? Oh, what am I going to do? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the power over here. But we're going to do it because we're just going to put a train station like right here. We'll hook up the, this to wherever I can connect it. All right, I see. So let's try that again. Train station here. And we'll hook up that. And now we're just going to run power lines from this. Where was it anyway? Oh, yeah, there it is. And now it's got power. Ta-da! Do we want the hard drive? We just want it. <laughs> I'm willing to accept that one. <laughs> so let's let's just turn on self-driving. So this, see how it's not, it's not empty. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the next car, uh, the next, it's going to take the entire box and pick it up. And then it's going to basically lower it onto that and then dump as much that as will fit into that uh, box car. And that's the, that's the animation it does when it's not completely empty to start with. So now, if I'm lucky, both of these will come in. 
Of course, this... It's only taking the call this time because... Because this is, um... This is already full, so it, there's no sense in topping it up. Alright, so what do we have? We have... Coal, and it's not full, so... But that's fine. It's totally fine. Now we have bauxite and coal coming into this area from far away on the map. And that's wonderful. So in the next episode, we'll begin building our aluminum refinery. And uh, I can probably I can probably take this down as well, because I'm going to be moving that somewhere else. Let's just, just have a peek here. If it's backed up, hopefully it's backed up. Yep, all right. I got plenty, plenty in here for now, and um, yeah, that's good. That's good. I can take all of this down and start focusing on aluminum. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.